WWE Universe is on their feet. Showing respect for the game. The Cerebral Assassin. Few men have ever commanded attention like Triple H. Triple H is marching to the ring with purpose. And as always, the purpose remains the same. Plain and simple, domination. Triple H has remained atop the WWE for two decades and shows no signs of slowing down yet. The creator of the pedigree, a truly devastating move. Yeah, and he's mastered how, when, and where to utilize it. And the pedigree almost always guarantees the end for Triple H's opponent. I guarantee Triple H already has plans on when to use it tonight. The monster of all monsters has arrived. And his opponent from Cheryl Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds. Braun Strowman! Braun Strowman has a mean streak a mile long. Yeah, and a proven history of not playing well with others. you're dealing with when you're facing Triple H. Not only can the game punish you with mental power, but physical power as well. And that's going to be a lot for him to contend with. Let's kick things off with a display of sportsmanship. Yeah, nice mutual respect. Always nice to see. Uh, or not. Oh, but this is even better to see. I can't wait to see these two go at it. It's not about respect tonight. That was pretty embarrassing, guys. You know, I just hate when two superstars can't be on the same page just to start the match. And it looks like no love loss between these competitors based on that display we just saw. Yeah, it really is winning by any means necessary, even resorting to mind games if you seemingly have to. Saxon, who's to say it's mind games? Sometimes you just straight up don't like someone, and you want to let them know both to take them off their game and to come out looking like the better performer. Great analysis, Corey. It's what I do, Cole. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Are we going to see a tap? And Strowman was the one getting wrecked there. That's the Cerebral Assassin revealing the high in-ring IQ of his. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. He goes for the quick pin. He forces a break before the count of two. I think this match still has a ways. Oh, God. Now Strowman feeling the pressure. Now, you don't often have your way with Braun like this. Counter by the big monster. Strowman isn't taking this line down anymore. Prime opportunity now for Braun to get some separation and gather himself. Turning the tables. A bit of hot dogging from Triple H here. Perched up top. Corey, I gotta ask, what do you think is the best strategy to even stand a chance against Triple H in this matchup? 
Look, Triple H is many things, but one thing I don't think you could ever confuse him for is a speed demon. Triple H absolutely loves a slow, methodical pace. So the obvious counter to that is to do quite the opposite and speed things up. Oh, the ref in the wrong place there. The ref's got to be better than that. Oh, brutal forearm. Shaking spine buster. Just a ruthless display from Triple H. Triple H has him set up. Serious jeopardy for Strowman. Cover. And that's all she wrote. Must be feeling so smug picking up the win in this one. Yeah, it's real. I told you so. Energy, humility right out the window. And Cole, you were so up in arms about the earlier disrespect they showed, but. It's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. And the intimidating presence of Indus Sheer looming large in the ring here tonight. They've been a terror for the tag team division for a while now. And they're only getting more dominant with time. They're dead set on sending a message to all the tag teams in WWE. Nothing can stand in their way. And they already look primed to continue that message here. As their opponents, you need to cut the ring in half. You're facing a team with great synergy. Keeping them apart will be essential to success. Isolation is certainly a key to neutralizing any great tag team. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. 
There's a tag. Oh, knee right through the stomach. Placing them into the corner. What are we going to see here? Oh, and it's Steve. Uh oh, we got a little cross action. Oh, 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 pounce. He could pin his opponent right here. Oh, that was close. This match continues. What the heck is this manager doing looking out of the ring? She can't be acting like this. Vertical suplex. Up, full speed using their body as a weapon. Uh-oh. Face first. Bam. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Oh, man. And Eric can't stop any offense coming his way. But Eric can't allow this burst to hinder him. Oh, draping double axe handle. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Eric fires back. He got whipped into that corner. Running hip attack. What impact. Boom. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, what a stop. Right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Oh, an overhand chop. What's coming next? Taking their time. Oh, punch to the gut. I'll pick the wind right out of you. Vicious right forearm. Oh, did you hear that? Looking blow. A tag made. Double team coming. This is going to be nasty. Around the rock. And Sangha is out. Looking for the victory. He's got him scouted. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. knee and right between the shoulder blades he's in off the tag oh flapjack gosh landing face first booting boots ah oh, look at this just cranking it out Crank in the head. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh, that'll mess up the neck. Vicious knee. He's going for the pin. This could be it. He breaks the ref's count before two. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Oh, an overhand punch. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Well executed takedown. Ooh. Just 
right forearm. And he sends him into the corner. Tag made. Double team headed our way. Look at this power all the way up for Ragnarok. Can Ivar close things out? Cover. He keeps his team in the match. Oof. Pounding the breadbasket. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Tags him in. Oh my goodness, dribbling the... Will it be? Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. And, he's... and there's the cover. Kicks out after one. There is no quit in this man tonight. Nasty face rake to stop that attack. Short close line hits its mark. Tag made. Tag made. DDT. We are seeing a neck, and this is going to be it. A defiant kick out after one. That's smart. Taking the one to catch your breath. Sanga. Beer firing up. Ripped in the hard way. <laughs> Set it up. And now thrown back into the ring. Wicked driver. Vicious right forearm. Oh, side cutting. And set right into the corner. Solely focused on... Ooh, and Ivar is taking control in this match. Yeah, Ivar's really grinding the opposition down. Oh, that was a neck. Man, he's getting pushed out into the defensive. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Tagged into the action. Evading offense. one of the greatest matches we've seen in quite some time here. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. And that's going to impair Ivar even more. Ivar might need to find space to regroup.
Into the corner. This can't be good. Big knee. And right between the shoulder blades. off with chat shoes cold let me handle cover and a kick out not enough pressure on the pin mm. 
Nice amateur takedown all the way over. Big knee to the midsection. Taking the wind out with a stomp to the solar plexus. Great power, masterfully executed Regal Flex. Measured elbow drop, driven down. Tommaso Ciampa needs to figure out a solution. Ciampa's resiliency is being tested here. Crank in the head. Rolling into a monkey flip. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Top rope is dangerous, especially backwards. How do you counter the incredible aggression that Tommaso Ciampa fights with? You have to find a way to turn it back against him because you're never going to match it. Taunt Ciampa, dodge his attacks, do anything you can to control the tempo and frustrate him. The less control Ciampa has, the less effective his rage. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Carefully measured. Again? Assailing the joints of the leg. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. What now? Oh, a stop to the belly welly. Overhand strike. Oh, look at this awesome Sicilian barrage. The buffet of punches. And the former Olympian Gable took a big hit there. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Slaughter suplex. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Watch a hamstring. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Working on their arm. Punch to the face. Tampa kick to the abdomen. Oh, a psycho cutter. A truly cutthroat attack by the Blackheart. Tampa's fighting for a win. Moving at the right time. Has them up. Nice waist lock takedown. Holding on. How about another? Establishing complete control. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Oh, man. Don't do it. Oh, no. Crashing hard. To the floor. Now that was a harebrained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Butterfly suplex. Watch out! They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? <laughs> Champa. Fairy tale ending. Terrible position for Gable. There's two. Still not over. Gable is still in this. How the heck did he kick out? Lesson number one from the Alpha Academy is tenacity. That's how. Champa just seething right now as he realizes his best shot wasn't quite enough. Oh, I had that well scouted. Return fire from Gable. Drops the hammer. This could do it! The referee's attention diverted here. They need to get their head in the game. He's able to beat a two count. He's still got more left in the tank. Ooh, sharp elbow. Great display of power to the German. We might be close to the end. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. Crank in the head. 
got their opponent's arm. Vicious knee drop. That puts a stop to Gable. Does he have it here? Shoulder up right away. I was not expecting that from him at this point. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Such a spirited assault from Gable. Champa looking a little frustrated there. Not being allowed to take control of the tempo at this Jack Gable goes for a high, holds up his opponent. Nice German suplex. Another, and why not? Let's get a trifecta. Nice. Chad with the exclamation mark. Shoulders down. Securing the victory here. There are sore losers, and then there's Champa. Go ahead, say that to his face. I dare you. The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 439 pounds, Finn Balor and Damien Priest, the Judgment a unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. May they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. Time to party with the profits. to see Ford and Dawkins sporting more of an attitude. If you ask me, they finally wised up. It's well past time they stopped messing around and got serious about their careers. Well, I'm not surprised you're a fan of this change, Corey, but there's a lot of fans out there that feel betrayed. Well, they can go cry into their crumpled party cups. Ford and Dawkins only care about getting paid and taking names, as they should. Tough 
as they come, KO has to be one of the most hardened superstars anyone can face in this business. And that is how he has spent nearly a decade as a top name in WWE. There have been very few folks to main event a single WrestleMania, let alone two. But KO has done just that. Yeah, KO's not the kind of superstar you'd picture as a multi-time WrestleMania main eventer, but he's made an entire career out of defying expectations. One of the biggest names in WWE, The Viper. WWE Championship at the age of 24, the youngest world champion in history. Such an accomplished career for this young man. But gentlemen, we know that the Viper is at his best when he hunts alone. Randy Orton has earned his spot at the top of WWE. He has beaten nearly every big name, slain nearly every legend. You gotta wonder, what's next for the Viper? Championship, Saxton, and plenty of them. Tag Team Tornado match underway. Multiple teams facing off, but there will only be one winner. Everyone competing at once. You really need to know the status of your partner and every opponent in this match. Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. Hey! Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back with a move like that. And that was a precisely measured attack. to knock all the wind out of you. An injured shoulder puts you below square one. This is a smart strategy here. Using his body as a weapon. Put into the corner now. Randy with a counter. And what a maneuver we just saw there. As easy as it may seem to come into a no DQ match with no plan other than to get violent, strategy can play a role in this. Now's the time for a superstar to get inventive, to get creative when it comes to inflicting damage on their opponents. Softball slam! Great. 
gracious. Orton. Exploder suplex from Orton. Oh. oh, look at strike. Stops 
the count. But now we see Balor. That didn't look good for Balor. Here's the cover for the win. And a strong kick out in one. Wow. Looking for the victory. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. What grace float over it. This is truly awesome. And Ford is still managing to dish out more damage. The match hangs in the balance and Owens with more questions than answers at this point. And here we go. And he breaks the hold. And to the corner now. Oh, elbow caught him right on the fringe of the nose. Dawkins wobbling. Looks vulnerable. Secure a win. Oh, gee, straight to the cranium. Cover here. And he breaks up the count. Strong four. Up and around and down. Sure seems to be getting out of there in a hurry. A chance to get his thoughts together and regroup. And the gets hit with an unintentional shot there. Is it enough? Out before one. How does anyone have this much in them at this point? Basement drop kick. Damian Priest would like to be your guy on a tour south of heaven. Priest has him on Dream Street. The WWE Universe can't believe what these warriors are doing to one another. Everyone's fired up. What a battle. Now they're looking for liftoff. Right now, 
You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks past in this match.
There is perhaps no superstar with more heart in WWE than Sami Zayn. You can beat him down, kick him around over and over again, but Sami will always get back. Sami Zayn, ready to give it his all once again. The ultimate measure of a man is how he stands at challenging times, and Sami is always up for a challenge. Can you dig it? And all time, WCW and WWE great. From Houston, Texas, weighing in at 251 pounds. And he is now WWE Royalty. Take a page out of Booker T's book and say, all those suckers in the back better take note. Well, I feel cool when I say that. And here we go with this tag team matchup. As we get this battle underway, we're about to see Stone Cold and L.A. Knight. And in the other corner, they will be dealing with Sami Zayn and Booker T. It is going to be all about teamwork and partnership here tonight. Who will be the better team? Who will have the better chemistry? I personally cannot wait to find out. Getting tossed. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Keep him down. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, uncorked a big. Sami Zayn sends his opponent to the outside. What is the master strategist looking for here? Through the rope. Tornado DDT by Zayn. Stop after stop after stop. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Throw him back in under the ropes. Able to get there in time. Uh oh, jawbreaker! Call the dentist. And an inverted atomic drop. Austin has something brewing. Oh, what a DDT! Austin, Austin just stomping away. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Cobra Clutch! Got it cinched in! Fading fast. And the Russian leg sweep! A consistent attack here from Austin. Booker is going to have to endure this punishment. And he gets the tag. Elbow throw saying not today. Got him where he wants. Counters. And that might be the start of the momentum swing that Sammy needed. But Zayn has to push now while the window's open. No escape from these punches. And Sammy is countered. It takes to hit a pile driver. We cannot forget how much fighting spirit it takes to keep going after taking one. Will we see that spirit to fight back? And Zane is clearly looking for a fight here. Oh no. 
A uh, stop right to the gut. Austin getting a taste of his own medicine, receiving the fight he came into this match looking for. Zayn capitalized on that opening when it appeared. attack off the top rope putting it all on the line Looking weak in the knees could spell trouble. Austin, yeah. the gun stone. Real stone cold end this. No, my, that was close. I cannot believe that Sami Zayn wants to prolong this fight any further. Austin has put away so many opponents like this before, but tonight is going to be a tougher battle for the rattlesnake. Oh, timely counter by Zayn. Uh-oh. He's got the answer for that one. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. L.A. Knight and showing his opponent takes a run on the gravy train. Steve Austin and off the tag. Ooh, that hurt. Drives a foot into the stomach. Hooked up in the corner. Explorer Sam. This is it. He kicks out at two. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Placed in the corner. Uh oh, wrist lock. Ring is out. Makes the cover. He kicks out somehow. Austin somehow kicked out. I cannot believe the beating he's been able to endure. Look at Sammy's eyes. Zayn absolutely thought that was going to do the trick.
gold medalist has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Singles action underway with Seth freaking Rollins ready to go. Rollins is always ready for a fight, always ready to take on all comers. And the visionary isn't shy about saying so. Rollins is as talented and athletically gifted as he is brash. In the WWE Universe, well, they absolutely love it. They have serenaded. Here's the cover. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Out of the way in time. Big elbow. Neither superstar giving an inch here. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. The fight is on. And it's furious. Who will break first? That is the question. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Ooh. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. They are emptying their tanks going back and forth like this. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Kurt Angle has based his entire career on the three eyes. Does intensity, integrity, and intelligence carry Angle to a victory tonight? I believe it will, especially if he uses the full spectrum of that middle eye. Angle knows when to fight with integrity, but also when to cut corners. It may not be conduct befitting a gold medalist, but it's earned Angle a number of wins in WWE. Gets the shoulder up and won. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Capped off with a big one. A frenzy of attacks from Seth Rollins. Kurt's got him. Launching. Five star frog splash. A visionary man doing visionary things. It's off the pin. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Angle with the aversion. Kurt Angle. Angle slam. Such explosive offense from Angle. All three eyes in effect with that one. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Angle with that intense look in his eyes. Angle with a hole. He is in 
serious trouble here and finds his way out. He foiled that attempt. He's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Counter! And now there's an opening. Rolling outside, and he's looking like he wants nothing to do with him. Got to find a way to get out of this. Down on the windpipe. Oh, the moonsault connects. Rollins lining it up with a stop. Kurt's in serious danger. Cover. Three. No. Two count. The incredible resiliency of Kurt Angle escaping just in time after absorbing a massive blow. And we know Rollins has a temper. You have to think he's starting to get in his own head a bit. Setting him up. Got the head scissors on. Oh, elbow to the face. Dropkick hits hard, lands harder. To the outside. This could get wild. Jarring impact. These competitors are pushing themselves beyond their limits. Yeah, it's definitely not every night we see a match like this. Oh, here you go. Look at it. What a pedigree. And he tosses it back in now. Oh, catapult. And there's the cover. Stopping the refs count at two. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Oh, that didn't go as Seth designed. Look out! Exploder suplex. Cover! There's two! He just won't give up. Picks the leg, looking for the ankle lock submission. An agonizing hold to be caught in. The architect going to have to design a counter to this submission. And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. Stop him! Shoulders down! Kicks out. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Hits him with the counter. to do to put this guy away. Oh, no. Five cut. That'll cost some teeth. Boom! What a right! Pinpointing the leg in the corner. Dropped with a suplex. Escape just in time. Ooh. And the counter from Rollins. <laughs> this is what you call high risk, high reward. Taking flight. Five star frog splash. He has 
a lot where he wants him. From the top, he paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Lighten up the chest, and now straight to the knee. Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle with the angle slam. And this has got to be it. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, Kurt Angle. A triumphant victory for Kurt Angle here. And it is back to the drawing board for Rollins. Yeah, but we all know you can't keep a good visionary down for long. dwell within Bray Wyatt. And it seems as though Bray has slowly been losing the battle to contain that danger. Yeah, that's a frightening thought for the entire WWE Universe, including Wyatt himself. in the eyes of Bray Wyatt. Darkness and bad intentions.
made his return with a flood of emotions, but he knows he now has unfinished business and a story of his own to complete. After nearly a decade away from WWE, Punk can still compete at a high level, and he'll need that with today's competitors. A polarizing figure, but Punk is determined to be the best. Punk possesses a lethal combination of fighting styles, and he's going to need it tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it, Punk is always ready for a fight, and he proclaims he is the measuring stick until someone proves him otherwise. Jey Uso is here, and he is a new man. Something of a new position on his own. Some trepidation, but also some freedom. As much as he gained from the bloodline and his brother, becoming the main event is something Jay needs to do on his own. And Jay is more than equipped to do it. Jay looks ready to deliver on his unbelievable height. Three superstars stand ready for what should be a hectic triple threat match. For this one, it'll be Bray Wyatt, CM Punk, and Jey Uso. No count outs, no disqualifications, no allegiances. If there is an alliance formed during this match at some point, it becomes every superstar for themselves. Only one of the three will end up with their arm raised in a victory here tonight. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Piercing the throat. Vicious right forearm. Up and around and oh, clothesline. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Stiff headbutt. Boom, what a right gosh. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. Given the notice qualification modifier on this match, Corey, what kind of tactics should you expect to see here? Ruthless tactics, Cole. Now is the time for these superstars to unleash their pent-up aggression and be as violent as they want. There's nothing the ref can do about it, so they should go all out. And misses on the springboard. Lighten up the chest, and now straight to the knee. Wrestling 101. You can't stand. You can't fight. Oh, my God. Pendulum back. He can end it here. That could have been it right there. Spray devising something unimaginable. Here's the cover. And he breaks up the pinfall. What a headbutt. Vicious. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, tossed aside. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Oh, an overhand punch. Uh-oh, he 
searching for something. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. Oh. Looking wobbly in the corner. Good golly, Miss Murray. The ultimate sign of disrespect. And Jay reverses. Now, that'll do some serious damage. Devastating elbow. Using his body as a weapon. Into the pin attempt. Look at this straight. My goodness. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Specifically targeting the leg. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. What now? Belly stop. Oh. Big knee to the midsection. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk. And they are showing us why right now. The pain and punishment, it really builds in these type of matches. Ooh, a sharp kick. Uh-oh, Mandible Claw, Mandible Claw! Ray may have sealed things up. Cover! Broken up, and the match continues. That's teamwork. Shifts it back onto him. Up and... Oh, knee right to the spine. What a clothesline! Ouch. Knew what was coming there. Jay nailed all of it. The official's concerned with the wrong thing right now. They're completely missing the pin. I thought that was it, but the resilient CM Punk refused to stay down. Main event, Jay Uso with a close call right there. He definitely thought he had that one in the bag. Oh my God, no, that's too far. Powerless position to be in right now. Straight impact on the throat. Look out. Cover! Kicks out before the two count. Still gonna take a massive effort to keep him down. Fending off Wyatt. Bob hoisting off his opponent, looking to finish him here! Genius! Connects! And Bray finds himself in trouble. The body is starting to fail at this point. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Jey Uso can come back from this. After all, he has been down since day one-ish. What does that even mean? <sighs> Got him where he wants him. Up and oh, oh. He's bracing for it. Lights out. DDT connects. That's gotta be it. And he only stays down for a one count. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Come on. Oh. So well matched. These men aren't giving up any ground. Showing their strength of will, their refusal to back down. And down with the suplex. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Sister Abigail. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Oh, this one should have been over, but he breaks the hold. Oh, man, kick to the face. And now Jay gaining another wind with that attack. Wyatt's in danger now. And a kick into the cover. Oh. He stops the count. Big forearm. Oh my God. 
Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Delivering. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Heading to the pay window. And the count's broken. Keeping the match alive. Looking for a belly-to-back suplex. Into the neck breaker. Beautiful. What's he going to do here? Oh, that hurt. Spear! That was vicious. Will Jay end this for the win? Out on the apron. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Oh, the hardest part of the ring. And listen to this place. It's deepening in here, Michael. No clue what he hopes to find down there. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. Oh. Strikes with a kick. Punk plants him with a urinagi. Seamless transition into the Anaconda voice. Oh, I'm going to tap out here, but it ain't going to matter. You still do a lot of... And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Hooked up. And DDT. Elbow drop. Just breaking down the opponent. Counter by CM Punk. Ooh. Hook them up. High angle belly of back suplex. Jumping clothesline. What agility. Script on him there. Some good contact by James. On point. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Bringing out that kendo stick means he is truly willing to go to the extreme. He gets back into the ring. And into a neck breaker. Oh! We got a cut. DDT. Suplex is blocked. Into a suplex of their own. That'll turn your lights out. Bad position for Punk. Samoan drop. Able to get the advantage here. Ray's feeling a sense of... Oh, spear! What an exclamation mark right there. Oh! And Bray gets stopped in his tracks. Looking for a belly-to-back suplex into the neck breaker. Beautiful. Cover! There's two! Shoulder up! Shoulder up! This is insanity! Did you expect anything less? Seeing right now, no one can. Coming back in the ring, got them right in the corner. Spear! Jay can seal it here for the win. Two. He did it! He did it! He is your winner. What a 
performance. Huge win here in this triple threat match. Three superstars absolutely giving it their all with one breaking away. The following contest is scheduled for one song and it's for the Judgment Day, so I suppose that makes Dom her secretary. Well, first of all, Saxton, it's executive assistant. And secondly, there are no leaders in the Judgment Day. They are a team of equals, equal partners. That's what Rhea and Dirty Dom are. They haven't even done anything yet. And they're already so smug. You'd be smug too, Cole, if you had a ride or die like Mommy. Lynch is always at the top of her game. You can see it in the eyes of each individual. Only razor sharp focus when this much is on the line. Big time. 
title match here. In my opinion, this championship could main event any show, any place, any time. Bold declaration, Byron, but give it... Double underhook. Sit out, slam into it. She fights her way out of the armbar. Into the corner. This can't be good. Puts the boot to the midsection. Lifts their opponent's uh, legs. Uh, and oh. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. She steers clear of that one. There's the crucifix. Nicely done. And all of Ripley's ring experience is being tested a bit here. Some dominant offense there from the one and only man. No love loss between Lynch and her opponent. And look at Lynch going to the top rope. And wait a minute. What's the manager doing under the apron? From the top! And there's the go around. Shows you how committed this competitor is to winning the title. She was close to the end there. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Becky Lynch has so many tricks in her arsenal, so many ways to get the better of her opponent. Corey, what do you think is going to be the go-to? Uh-oh, she had trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of this. We're going to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. And she's stunned in the corner. He is looking to do some serious harm. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. How about the strength of the champ? Just flinging off the challenger. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Burying knees into the body. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. A flat out into the scoop slam. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Another leg drop. Well scouted by Ripley. Two-handed choke slam. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. She throws her back in. Ooh! Ooh, walloped by a huge club. A bad place to be for the challenger. And you can just tell Ripley enjoyed delivering that punishment. Sit down, power bomb. No question after that power bomb, the champ has a strategy to retain. Headed to the top rope. Lift off. Frog splash nailed it. Mommy's brutality simply can't be contained. She gets the shoulder up. Good lord, scarily close to three. Rhea Ripley. Locking in the prison trap. Submission locked in. Oh my goodness, critical point. She is determined to escape. Uh oh. Carefully measured. Big leg drop. Becky's got bad intentions in mind. Becky in full control here. Handle slam. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. What a kick out. I don't believe it. I can't believe it. We were a second away from a new champion. Are we close to the start of a new reign? And Becky Lynch is fuming. 
Lynch looking to secure. I can't believe she's hanging on this long. She's got a tap. No escape, only surrender. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Ripley has things right where she wants them. Here we go. There's the hit time. Another one bites the dust to the champ. Two. Kick out. Still has hope. Somehow, this title is still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to regroup. Rethink your plan. And frustration is starting to set in for Rhea Ripley. She's not used to this level of resilience. You have to imagine we're hitting the late stages of this matchup. Who's going to dig deeper at this point? It might just take that extra push, that extra inch further to create the difference. She flips it back on her. There's the crucifix. Nicely done. And Lynch is doing her best to stay in this matchup. Yeah, Becky has seemingly had an equal or opposite answer to her competition's offense. is all fired up now. And Becky's managed to pick up the pace enough to disorient the competition. Got her off her game in true Lynch fashion. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. Uh-oh! Suicide dive! Throwing all caution to the wind and leaping to the outside. Tickets to the gun show. Oh, and a stop right to the back. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. <laughs> Rhea Ripley. Wow, wiping that smug look right off her face. And Lynch was scouted there. The better part of Valor. In the slam. Tossed into the corner. Lynch with her opponent trapped in the corner and a springboard sidekick connects. No. And now that terrible error makes this a critical moment in the match. Uh-oh! Caught with that sharp elbow. Becky Lynch looking for a thin handle slam. The champ odds were glazed over. Two! No, she kicks out, she kicks out. This is complete insanity. Still holding on to the title by the skin of their teeth. And Becky now must be forced to re-strategize, being unable to produce the results she... <laughs> Suplex rolls through. Oh! There it is! Disarmor! That's one way out of the disarmor. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper-extend your elbow. them aside. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Ooh. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Big leg drop. Whoa. 
extending their opponent's arm out. Drops the leg. Oh, leg dropped by Becky Lynch, and she's going to do it again. Countered it just in time. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. She re-enters the ring now. Oh, look at Becky. Manhandle slam. Good to see a new champ. There's two. Becky Lynch shuts down all uncertainty. She is now champion. Champion has to be one of the most glorious feelings she's felt in her life.